everyone. How is it going? Welcome to Memphis International Airport and the and today we'll be flying the beautiful magnificent Fly Factor 757 Freighter. So uh, the reason I picked this flight is because I can't, I want to fly back to Tallahassee to set up a special flight for tomorrow to commemorate the 4th of July holiday. And I can't think of a better way than to fly out from one of my favorite airports to another one of my favorite to go to a brand new destination we haven't been to on stream. So without further ado, let's get down into the pit and let's start firing it all up. Alrighty, so first thing, battery is on. External power is, or auto, external power on, bus tie-in is on. Go ahead, turn our generators on. We are good there. Y'all dampener will go ahead, turn on and get the irises aligning. Excellent. Go ahead, turn, get that on standby. Get those turned on. And get all these turned on. Sweet. We have a good flight deck. Go get that logo light on just because I like it on. And go ahead and get the fuel pumps turned on, though we are not starting those up just yet. And go ahead and get our packs set up. So when we get so blah, 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 blah. I cannot talk. I'll go ahead and get the packs turned on so when they're loading the cargo, they do not melt to death. So, alrighty, sweet. So, now the cargo deck is getting air, air conditioned. Let's go ahead and load up our pallets. So, ground. And we're looking for number of 10 pallets. And we're looking for a zero fuel weight of 88,614 kilograms. Okay, so we're full, so we're going to need an extra cargo weight. Alright, so that's 82, so we're going to need about 39.55. Well, actually, 49.55. Oh, damn, we're going to need more than that. Ooh, we are going to be heavy today. Woo! I'm going to need a uh, count. I want to bring out the calculator for this one. Alrighty, so our f zero fuel is 88,614 8, kilos. We're going to subtract. Uh, go ahead, put zero kilos in there. Uh, right, so now 79,423. We need 9,119. Are 9,191 pounds of extra cargo. Ooh, man, are we gonna be heavy? Woo! And we're gonna have 11,367 kilos. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, 367 plus 1500. And we're gonna have twelve thousand. Oh, come on, twelve thousand eight hundred sixty-seven. There, optimize our cargo, and sweet. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. And get these up while I'm looking at them, so we ain't gotta worry about them in a few minutes. Sweet. Since we have everything loaded up, let's go ahead and load and man oh man is that gonna be a heavy bird or when we get taken off here Whew. that is all i can say on that one right now is we are definitely or we're, we're gonna be uh ooh, we are definitely on the heavy side for this okay so Let's go ahead and scroll on down to our flight plan and get our relevant information. This is our cargo jet. We obviously have no passengers, so we don't have to worry about a passenger briefing. Cargo is one of the best things you can have behind you. Alrighty. And... 
Alrighty, since our landing altitude is going to be 83 foot, we will go ahead and drop that down to 80. Set that to auto. Sweet, we are good there. Even though we ain't got to worry too much about the pressurization. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alrighty, go ahead and turn that on. They hook up the utility. Go ahead and get the APU generator turned on because we will need that before long. Sweet. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the window heat yet. Excellent. Our overhead panel is set up. And let's go ahead and start getting things set up for our FMC. So that's KMEM is our reference airport. Sweet. And GPS position, set for iris position. Excellent. Route. So KMEM to KTLH. Plug that into our destination. And we are FedEx 1481. 1481 and we will go ahead and plug that into our flight number and by let's see what will be our runway as we have 20 minutes to get everything ready with that amount of cargo they are going to be hoofing it so the winds are at 220 at 6 so we'll be taking 18 center And go ahead, activate that. And performance initialize. Uh, if we don't know that just yet, we'll plug in what we do know, though. Alrighty. Block time. Alrighty, so we'll go to. Alright, so we'll go to our departure. We're going to take the Olms 5 departure. with the laic transition. All right, sweet. I, yep. I execute that yeah. and yeah. Oh, stand by. Alrighty, let's continue. Uh, don't need the calculator no more. Uh, uh, index arrival. And by the look of it, we'll be taking ILS 2.7. And what is our transition here? We're going to do a Seminole transition. Execute that and look at our route here. Be a direct to uh um, I completely messed this up here. One, two, lay, I guess it doesn't like that. So MGM. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and delete all this stuff. Yeah, we're just going to delete the whole dang thing because I completely messed that up. 
All right, so route uh, destination KTL. KTLH. Next page. Uh, departure. You have the Ohms Five as as originally stated. One eight with the late transition. Execute sweet. So, alrighty. So now we can get the leg or direct to MGM. All right, and then a quarry. Or then direct in GM direct a quarry. Quarry. Then we're going to jump on airway Quebec one zero four to Cablo. Then direct to Conpa. Uh, where is that? Uh, uh. Direct Conpa. Alrighty. Oh, uh, did. Yep, that needs to stay on for now. The set parking brake to RT or set regular brakes to RT. Alrighty, and uh, alrighty, so we're gonna do ILS two seven with a Seminole transition. Alrighty, let's go over the legs, make sure we are looking all right, and let's head over to plan mode. Sweet. So, alrighty. So one eight center. So, uh, I don't really understand why that has to be there, but uh, we'll go ahead and just skip that. Alrighty, and then to Xander. Olms. Well. So I center to, to Gaedic, then Xander, Emmett, Kaslin, Olms, Laic, alrighty, and go ahead and execute that, and then step, and all the way down to Seminole, so, wow, that's a really short hop, we're on the, on that there. And go ahead and sit a loogie there. Uh, this seems really strange for a route, but I'll take it. Um, okay, then uh, we have everything in there. So we did 1.54 reserves. And our cruising altitude today. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Alrighty, uh, flight level three five zero. Alrighty, and cost. Uh, stand by.
Okay. Sorry about that. Good thing we have a little extra time here. All right, our cost index is going to be, doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna click on the paperwork here. All right, so almost five to Lake. Uh, this is where I think I messed up the route. That's the next page. MGM. Yeah, I totally messed that up, so... Uh, let's see if I can get this right here. That's F D X one four eight one. Okay, so our departure is going to be the Alms five. A transition one eight center. Fabric So one eight center. I can't believe I'm actually having to do a secondary route here. Late transition. Alrighty, so now we got our initial route. Right, one eight center. Almost five. Late transition. completely borked up or the flight plan didn't I uh. alrighty so okay so now I think I might be able to salvage this okay direct to MGM then direct to a uh, Cory. Then uh, Quebec, uh, Quebec one zero four to Cablo. Then direct to Kanpa and 
And then our arrivals for Route 2, Alice 2-7 with the Seminole Transition. All right, and execute that, and look at our legs here, see what we can delete and spruce up. And then Seminole. Uh... Man, we are definitely going to gaste a lot during this, aren't we? All right, cool. So, alrighty, that looks good. All right, and if Rev, all right, let's get our cost index now. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I think they redid the format. Uh, oh, great. It's a Delta format. I thought I had fixed that. Uh, already trip and take off. Uh, let me edit that, so, uh, all right, so I can actually read that, it's, oh my god, and we are five minutes from departure time, which means we need to be moving here very shortly, but I need to make sure I'm reading my stuff right. Departure time, ah, oh, there it is, cost index of 76. Ooh. Alrighty, since we are going to do a flaps 15 departure, and we have a 24 hour center of gravity, uh, it speeds on, so 142, 145, 148, and we are not going to do a derated takeoff because that would just be insane. Alright, so you come up here. And V1 is going to be 142. V2, V rotate is 145. And finally, V2 is going to be 148. Alrighty. Excellent. We are set there. Alrighty, so we have that fired up. Let's go ahead and get the APU going. Uh, come here, APU. And actually, that would be there. APU is coming alive. Sweet. And... All right, go ahead and get some stuff for all that's firing up. Get some stuff ready for the arrival. Right, let's localize our 2-7. Sweet, we are set up and good to go there. All righty. And we're going to go ahead and bring our flaps back. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, flaps coming back. That is on. That's sweet. We can go ahead and go ahead cl or uh, make the ground go away. Airplane, close all doors. Sweet. We are ready to rock and roll. That is set for initial, so we are good there. Set to auto. ILS system is alive. Let's go ahead and set our 
classic squawk because we are technically offline even though we're flying with live traffic. We are now T-A-R-A. Okay, we'll explain. Don't be like that. I gotta close that. Alrighty, so if you can heat avionics, fuel pump, altimeters are on. That is really kind of weird. Uh, let me make sure we don't have any failures. Ah, that is really strange. Um, okay then. All uh, right, those are all on. Those are all on. Uh, the isolation valve on. Sweet pack is now on. Sethos auto. Even though we have no or no personnel, we are all pure cargo. Uh, spoilers in up. That is not. That does not give me warm and fuzzy. Uh, okay, it's definitely a line because spoilers are operational. If spoilers are definitely operating, so. Alrighty, I think we are ready for pushback. A uh, better pushback. And we are definitely ready. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and flip those flight directors on. Alrighty. Alrighty, how about that? We are ready to rock and roll here. Ah. Alright, looks like doors and hatches are closed, so we're ready to connect. Load it up. We are ready to rock and roll here. Sort of what that one's all about. Alrighty, I'll go ahead, lock the door. Cool. We are ready to rock and roll here. We don't need Antias, Sedato One. Awesome. Alrighty, we are good. Alrighty, got packs off. Sweet, since we are doing the left one first, let's go ahead and swip it over to one. Flop that over to ground. Alrighty. And there goes 20%. Fuel is on for engine number one. All right, we got successful start on number one. I probably should burn, or turn that back up a little bit. Uh, 
リーAlrighty, and while he's unhooking, we'll get number two set up. While he's doing that, we are going to finish firing up our engines here. And oof. So we'll quiet them back down once we uh, get up at altitude so we can throw in a little bit of music and enjoy some beautiful ortho scenery. Cool, successful start on number two. We are ready to go. Go ahead, disconnect, and let's get rocking. Alrighty, go ahead and get position light on. Sweet. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Thanks, you too. See you next time. Alrighty, go ahead, kill the APM. Uh, there's definitely something not quite right here. Hydro system pressure. I really hope that's not just a glitch. Is it? There really shouldn't be anything wrong with this. Like they should, or they're out and they shouldn't be. Off center, right center, forward center, back center. Looks like it should be good. MCP is set. Uh, uh we are behind, but we may have a different issue here that I really don't understand. Uh, hold on.
Yeah, this is weird. Ah, oh, great. Really? Uh, hold on. We're going to start the APU back up and shut down the engines and do damn maintenance. I keep that one on. Just make sure we don't lose everything. Then we're going to do maintenance and fix that. That is dumb. That that's a random failure that can't be reset. Eh, gotta love in-fly stuff you don't know about. As soon as we can shut down the left engine, we'll get maintenance done real quick. So we, with that on, we will kill engine number two here. Alrighty, and that should fix this. Sweet, it did. Why that's a thing, I don't know, but... I cannot believe that's actually a thing in this. Alrighty, so with that now out of the way, as soon as we get a second successful start on this engine, Sweet. Second successful start. Go ahead, kill the APU. Alrighty. And then get those back on. Bleeds back on. And sweet. We are good to go there. Alrighty. So recall. Hey, let's break them right good. We are set there. So now let's get the heck out of here before something weirder happens. Alrighty, so now we are 11 minutes behind schedule. Thankfully, Cargo doesn't complain, and they did load it in a pretty good hurry, and we didn't know it was going to have that maintenance issue. Note to self, before every flight, click perform maintenance. Oh, I cannot believe that was actually a thing. It's like, here that fly factory has shenanigans. <laughs> yep, seriously, though, I, I kind of like unexpected stuff like that. I just wish we had a little bit more control over it while we're on stream. Alrighty, so go ahead and turn on our anti collision light here. Sweet, we are good there. Oh, if you forgot to set the altimeter, we'll go ahead and take care of that now. 2988. Two nine or eight eight. Go ahead, close you. Uh, close you. Yeah, so that's you. Sweet. Okay, we are good to go there. And we are going to continue down Sierra, and we will hold short at that are just past Alpha on Bravo at or Bravo 8 it looks like go ahead slow her down a little bit there the fast little puppy 
And once we get on the runway, we'll start our chronometer, hit toga, and get the hell out of here. Auto throttle is armed. Once we hit 200 feet, we will get the autopilot engaged and get on out of here. All right, brakes are set to RTO. Three green on the landing gear. All maintenance issues taken care of. Sweet. Alrighty, uh, since we are crossing the runway, go ahead, throw these, throw on the Christmas tree. Alrighty, sweet. We are crossing runway 279er. No landing traffic. Sweet. Alrighty, go ahead and get the flight controls. Alrighty, we are past that. Runway lights and wing light can come off temporarily. Alrighty, we are short of our runway here. Let's verify. Yep, we will pass this intersection and take a right here at, looks like, yeah, take a right onto Bravo here at the runway. And it looks like we have a direct 180 wind now. Uh, go ahead and refresh the weather because we don't want that uh, taken off on us when we get on the runway. So we have calm wind right now. Alrighty, so calm wind. We are, looks like we are almost ready to rock and roll. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot my camera was off. Anywho, alrighty, so we are just about to the runway now. And with that, and go ahead and start our right turn here. Alrighty, do we have, do we have any landing traffic? It does not appear so. We have no traffic taken off from one eight. So sweet, I think we are ready to go. We are clear for takeoff from Memphis International Airport as filed. Squawking one three three seven via the Olms five departure. Let's climb and maintain ten thousand initially. Expecting three six zero one two one zero minutes after departure. Set altimeter two nine eight eight. Alrighty. And Toga. All right. Airspeed is alive. Eighty knots. Cross check. All green. Ooh, we are heavy. V1, 
one. Rotate. Positive right. Gears coming up. Engage L nav. V nav is on. And autopilot is enabled. And we have three five zero set flaps flaps five. And we are definitely one heavy. I uh, forgot to start the clock. Oh shit, I forgot to have the landing lights on. Oh, uh, we go ahead and turn those off. We lights we don't need on right now. Uh, we have been cleared up to 350 by ourselves via the departure. All right, so we're going to climb at a rate of 1,700 feet per minute. As we are definitely heavy. Already, our first milestone will be 10,000, in which the landing lights will come off. Our second milestone will be 180 when we transition to stand or standard. And our final milestone will be cruise altitude. Alrighty. There we autopilot is online. Let's go ahead and set our heading. So we just have a general sense of where we're going. Quit, quit, quit flirting with the stick shaker airplane. I know you can do this. Yeah, Pratt and Whitney's under your wings. Come on now. This is a heavy bird. This may not end as well as I want it to.
Oh boy, I really hope this bird can take this. Okay, I think there was a bit of a flub up up here, but you know what? We are climbing now. Over five hundred, over five thousand, uh, or now direct to Caslin. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get our weather on here. All right, so weather on this side. And terrain on the right. Alrighty. Forty mile range, and that is definitely picking up terrain, so I'm not too worried about that right now. And uh, flaps are definitely coming up and flaps all the way up. Sweet. And now we need to start increasing altitude again. Alrighty, we are climbing again. Sweet. Maybe eventually we'll get the top of climb. Man, these engines are not happy with this load. Ooh, that was spicy. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to kill the camera at this point to get some more frame rate. And it doesn't appear to be affecting it. It's, huh, weird. That was cool. Alrighty, since we are finally on our way, I'll go kick up some music. <laughs> Coming up on 10,000.
over 10,000. Landing lights are coming off. Logo light is coming off. Cool. We are on our way now. Let's go. Do -da -da. Sweet, we got a tailwind. Oh yeah, we are definitely step climbing this. Because we are so heavy, we have no other choice. And make sure the live traffic is running. Uh, yeah, it's definitely running. And now we're climbing again. Oh, we are definitely running behind, but eh, it's a good thing it's cargo, because cargo doesn't really have a problem with time. One of these is, uh, that thing is not showing the right info, crap. Uh, let me fix that while we are in route. and uh. okay so that is is very incorrect. I don't know why it is not updating, but ah, uh... okay, maybe that'll update. Uh, Okay, so I gotta figure out why it's doing that, but I will handle that probably later.
มาเอ้ fix it later The, yeah, the overlay is wrong for for the aircraft type, but I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, that's gonna bug me, but ain't nothing I can do right now. Uh, I want to fix the DM overlay again. Uh, okay. All right, we are well over transition altitude, so s standard, standard. Sweet, we are now up to standard. Alrighty. And the overlay is still reporting a wrong aircraft type. And I will just have to deal with that later. Alrighty, go ahead and minimize that. Cool. Oh, that's much better. Might be lower frame rate, but I'll definitely take one of these views or over the other options. Alrighty. Uh, let's check see how the stream itself is doing.
Uh, okay, now I'm back. Uh, I got no idea what was going on there. Okay, so back up into the pits. Uh, it's probably about to yell at me to reset MCP altitudes, so we will drop down to 10,000. Actually, we'll drop down to 5,000. Cool. Alrighty, so... Um, and the mic should have been muted, but I'm guessing it didn't mute, or it was muted when it shouldn't have been. I don't even know at this point. I do know the flight simulator is muted because uh, a USB issue happened, and it blew up. So, I submitted a bug report because that's got to get fixed, and we are doing the rest of the flight basically with music and a silent simulator. Not that I really wanted it to be silent, but it didn't give me a choice. Oh, uh, yeah, I am definitely moving the critical stuff. And wow, now my, uh, now that actually, uh, yeah, turn off the cam. Hopefully that fixes the encoder problem. Okay, now my phone is yelling. Ah, oh, great, now my encoder's overloading and it was doing good all stream. Ah, uh, come on, encoder. Okay, now the encoders are happy, so... And probably just overloaded it again, but we'll see in a minute. Uh, we're gonna go over to the other one. Oh, yeah, the other one. Okay, that's a cool review. Alrighty, we are at top of drop so let's go ahead and get over to the top view here <coughs> wrong pipe There it goes. You can definitely tell that slight drop that's happening on the on the attitude. Alrighty, so we're top of drop. We should be on the ground probably in about twenty minutes or so, give or take. Uh, one moment.
Okay, now I am back, and I bring the camera back on because now the overload is done, it might actually be able to handle it. Oh yeah, definitely tell that altitude's dropping. Uh. Dip and my uh, co or co pilot back here, eating. Leroy, say hi. You that's you saying hi? Okay. It's not every day Leroy's on stream, but there he is. Oh yeah, War. That's that's your answer on what that uh, green thing was. It's his food bowl. Yep, and that altitude, we are below, we're coming up on 290. Uh, when we get it closer to 20,000, we'll go ahead and hop back in the, uh, back up in the pit. Mm. And oh, how did a mosquito get in here? Yeah, I'll go to left wing for this one. Yeah, so, or uh, since you're in, or how does the stream look from your side? Is it pretty smooth and stable? Is it jumpy or? Oh yeah, wing seat definitely the best though. Like right, cool. So I'm glad it's stable because I'm glad something finally went right this stream. But yeah, definitely when I got a choice, it's definitely wing or a uh, or window seat for me too. But in this particular plane, I don't think that's happening. So and you can see why. I mean, cargo plane. I don't think there's going to be much uh, window seating on a cargo plane. So oh, while we're on descent, quick cabin tour. Uh, not much of a cabin. But. You see, this is basically where the crew would sit. And ironic, an open lavatory. This is the only plane I've seen with an open lavatory. Uh, but if we needed to get back and check the cargo, this door would have been up. <laughs> and hold on, quick bathroom trip. <laughs> Can't close the door. Thank God I'm the only crew on board. <laughs> oh, turbulence. I better get back up in the deck. Or back up in the flight deck. <laughs> Oop, turbulence through 250. Hey, good thing we're descending. Uh, no FMC message yet. Holy cow. Um, could that up. Put that on prog and put this on descent so we have a better idea of what we're doing. And close that. Ooh, this is going to get bumpy. What in the Sam... What in the Sam hell is that? Oh, okay, so that's where we can lose some altitude. Okay, now I see the logic. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a running joke in, like, every plane that there is no lavatory modeled at all. And this is the one plane that has it. <laughs> and, the, and the irony that it is a cargo plane... Uh, 
the warrior going through two two zero. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and start setting up here for an ref index approach. Let's go ahead and set up our approach here. Flaps thirty, one thirty sevenths plus five, so one forty two is going to be our V or F. 142, so we correct for crosswind. And set our other refs. Excellent. We are set there. And now we're going to set up for ILS 3.6 and not 2.7 like I originally planned. Hey, the ILS for 3.6. We are going to be using 110.3, so 110.3 with approach course of 004. Alrighty, we are set on that. Cool, alright, so first thing, transition altitude, we'll be going to altimeter ironic 299 or 2. So... Literally no functional change except for the formality. All right. All right. Transitioned everything but captain side. And we'll wait till 18,000 to do that. And weather conditions in Tallahassee. Temperature 75, dew point 70, winds 0 to 0 at 6. 10 mile visibility, moderate rain, and thunderstorms in the vicinity. Ooh, this is going to be a fun landing. Alrighty, so we need to be at 1600 by Bupia. We'll go ahead and set that. 1600. So, alrighty. So, when we get to Bupia, like we will be Earth set up and ready to go. Alrighty. And the formality transition to altimeter. Alrighty, go ahead and lower the volume on this just a tad. Alrighty, that way it's not overpowering my own ears. Cool. Alrighty, go through 17,000 now. Real world, we would be talking Tallahassee Approach, and my god at the soup. Oof. That is some serious soup, let me tell you. No wonder they're reporting thunderstorms. We need to be paying attention to that radar. Alrighty. Already through 16,000 now. Uh, coming up on Cabo, Cablo. And then next up is Compa with a circle at Seminole. So, oh, yeah. Like, like, dude, my first flight, I kid you not, was flying out of Jacksonville International. And it wasn't just like a short hop down or down the street, kind of like, like yours were. Mine was a hop from Jacksonville straight to Seattle, and then from Seattle to Salt Lynchon. Can you imagine a 17-year-old me, and that's my first flight, all by myself? <laughs> like, yeah. And ironically, like, that experience is what kind of led me to loving aviation like I do, even though I didn't want to get into... I got, like, the original flight simulator that I got, which was FSX back when I was in the military, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Then I found X-Plane, arguably the best simulator on the market right now in terms of its flight mechanics, what it can and can't do and all that. 
But it's got bugs in it, clearly. But, oh yeah, dude, uh, if you want a flight stick, um, uh, or if, uh, I think a lot of person might have been interested in it, but if they don't end up getting it, if you want it, I'll gladly send it to you. It's, or it ain't perfect, but it beats a controller for flying stuff. And as you saw earlier, I got a, a new flight stick that's more of what I need, and this one's more of a fighter type thing. Uh, ooh, so Kanpa do a circle at a circle or two at Seminole, then the fans transition. Ooh, this is gonna be fun for an approach. That looks Nickel. Uh, all right, we're. Uh, don't I don't have an FMC message yet. Yeah, cool. yeah. But yeah, this is the this is what I was talking about. So it's a great joystick, but it just you saw the one I got now, and it that one that I got now fits what I need more than this one. And The, yeah, basically. I mean, it's... The flight stick side of the market is really underserved for civil aircraft, and that's why... Like, this one, where it costs twice as much, but it's exactly what I need. It's a dual-handed, high-precision side stick. Which, when you're managing a big aircraft like this one, that's kind of what you need. Said, but the other one, it'll do the job. It just ain't quite as pinpoint. Alrighty, so coming up on second altitude that we need to be concerned with, it's 10,000, which we'll flip on the landing lights. I gotta throw the logo light on. Alrighty, 10,500. Once we get. Oh, hello, I 10. Yep, I've spent many an hour on that road. So, some of it going eastbound, a lot of it going westbound to Louisiana. <laughs> nope, all my dogs laying down back there. Uh, uh, you yeah, can't really see him, but yeah, he's there. You say hello, Leroy? Yep. He's being typical Leroy. <laughs> Alright, we are below 10,000. Landing lights will come on. Sweet. And, yep, there they are. Confirmed landing lights are go. And, man, are we getting some turbulence. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are going to go auto brakes 3 because we are heavy today. We, we got a ton of payload. Alrighty, let's go ahead and complete this holding pattern here. Alrighty. So, yep, to Seminole. And circle around. And then go to Pupia. And then start our ILS advance. Alrighty, so let's go to our checklist since we are on descent. Landing pressurization was checked, and let's go ahead recall. That recall is checked. Auto brake is set. VRF is set. And all right, if we go miss, we will reset to three thousand for our missed approach altitude, or once we're on the ILS. That and we go miss, we will hold at the appropriate point if. If all goes well, we will be landing. And altimeters are checked. Nav aids are set. Cool approach checklist complete. Uh, our cabin is secured. Uh, we will have manual speed brake. Uh. 
Ooh, that's what it's doing. Okay, now it's uh, right turn into Boopia. We are at 8,000 and continuing descent. And we are now in the soup. Ooh. Alright, checklist. Alright, speed break is uh, secured. Oh. Uh. Speed break is armed. Next will be already. All right, flaps one. Oh, yep, that's our landing runway right below us there. We got a brief glimpse of it. So, oof. This is going to be an interesting approach. A very interesting approach. Yep, there's runway 27. And our... So, oh, we got... Yep, there's our cargo ramp right there. And 27, which we are not landing on this time. We are actually doing a different approach from normal. Alrighty, uh... All right, we need to descend a little bit quicker than us, so 1,700. And yeah, we need to find some stable air and fast. And once we drop landing gear, uh... Oh yeah, we are over speed for flaps, but it'll be okay because that's helping us manage our descent speed. Our vertical speed is steady at negative 2,000. Ooh. 5,100 and dropping. Crossing 5,000. Alrighty, go ahead and change our heading to 360. Or rather, 04 or 004. Alright, cool. Approach course is set. Alrighty, cool. Uh, uh, we go ahead and slow down to one eight two. Come on, plane, slow down. Now come on, baby, slow it down now. All right, next will be 220 for the next notch of flaps. All 
Alrighty, V ref is going to be 142. Let's go ahead and slow it down to 142. Alrighty, next notch to flap 15. Uh, those are armed and when we make our inbound turn now the notch of flaps this flaps 25 Already full deflection on flaps. And to increase our drag, flaps or gear is down, and when we line up, localizer will come alive. Alright, so we have a localizer is captured. It localizer is captured we are set on that and we wait for glide slope capture and we will engage approach mode and there's our landing right there three six baby Alrighty, so we are low on our glide slope right now, but that is fine. We are waiting for that diamond to come down. And then we will be set. In the meantime, let's capture some photos. Yeah, may as well get some beautiful photos of this freaking gorgeous airplane, or while we can. Ooh, and right at sunset, too. Alrighty, we are almost ready for glide slope capture. Once we catch that glide slope, we will reset our MCP altitude for 3,000 in case we go miss. But we are going to execute a auto land. Alrighty, so final checklist. In flight checklist, our right, cabin is secure, speed brake is armed, landing gear is down, flaps are set. All that's left is or MCP altitude and or glide slip capture, which we will get momentarily. All right, looks like we are clear. Weather is not a factor for this landing. And right now we are getting a direct crosswind, but that shouldn't be a problem for the auto land. Uh, and go ahead and refresh the weather so we don't get any unexpected surprises. Yep, aloft it is a direct crosswind. Up, uh, glide slope is coming alive. Excellent. So as soon as it hits that center bar, we will engage approach mode and engage auto land. All right, and approach mode is armed and land three, we are set. And we will not hear the call out, so we're just going to have to play it by ear. <laughs> Ironic, play it by ear, we don't have any audio. Ooh, 
is a beautiful photo. Alrighty, and excellent. We are about on predicted time. And we left about 10 minutes behind schedule, or we're arriving about 10 minutes behind schedule, so that actually worked out perfectly. And sun going over the horizon. Alrighty, so... Five hundred. Ooh, dang! No wonder we were getting turbulence through there. Good lord! Do you see that lightning? In real life, that is definitely not a thing. The runway actually extends out to about where my mouse is jumping up and down at. We are at minimums, we are continuing, and probably a great thing too, because holy cow, I did not expect it to be raining. Oh, that's killing frames. <sighs> holy cow, that... That was a planter. Oof. Alrighty. Uh, 80 knots, manual braking, reverser stow. Alrighty, go ahead, turn on. And turn that one on. Alrighty, we have successfully made it into Tallahassee. Alright, go ahead and get those runway turnoff lights off. Uh, logo light can stay on, wing lights are off, keep the uh, turn off light over as we don't need it right now. And position light we can turn off for now as long as we keep the collision light on. Sweet. Alrighty, since we know we got bad weather here, turn off that. Alrighty, and flaps come up. Stow the spoilers. And let's go ahead and turn off that system. Uh, terrain, go ahead and turn that. Go ahead and turn that off, sweet. Uh, looks like we are good to go there. Give us a little bit of power to get to the ramp. Man, that was spicy on that landing. Alrighty, so let's see just how far we got to go. I know we got a bit of a taxi ahead of us because of the landing. Uh, origin. Destination was KTLH. Oh yeah, we're going to be taxiing for a little bit here. Oof. Uh. Oh man, the demon coders overloaded. Good grief.
Alrighty, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get the APU kicked up. Sweet APU is alive. We are taxiing via Alpha. We will take a you take a left at Charlie, then a right at Bravo Eight, and take Bravo down to Bravo Four. Take a left at Bravo Four, and then park at the cargo ramp. And then tomorrow, <sighs> who tomorrow is going to be a special treat? We're going to be going. We're going to be going to arguably one of the most American cities in the entirety of America. We are going to be flying to DFW from this airport. And what we're flying, I will not tell you yet. You have to tune in tomorrow for that. So, oof. Uh, these taxiways aren't exactly level. <laughs> we are now discovering this. <laughs> ah, creeping. At least it waited to the end of the stream to, to overload. Actually, we're going to take a left here at Alpha 12 and bypass all the way down to Bravo. That should work, actually. And we are going to take a right here at Bravo 9. And actually, nope, never mind, never mind. If I remember right, that one has an issue right there at the end of the taxiway. So we will continue on Charlie and take a right at Bravo 7. Oh, sweet. We are set there. Oh. Uh, yep. Uh, didn't think I would need the wipers, but... Good thing we have landed, because I would not recommend flying in Thunder. <laughs> So, first time using the wipers ever in the simulator. Wait, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh... 
Um, we're going to wait till the next Thunderstrike because I think I just heard the Simulator sound kick on, which is going to be ironic. Ooh. And here we go, right at Bravo 8. I'm going to left on Bravo here. The, okay, the weather sounds are working now, but the the airplane sounds are not. Hey, this is not a Southwest taxi. I need to slow it up here. Um, yeah. Hopefully, in a version of it before 11.5 goes production, they will address that and actually fix the audio select. And I don't think Red is live tonight. Alrighty, and go ahead, slow up and left here at Bravo 4. Sweet, we are here at the cargo ramp. And I will check to see if Red Sonia is live. If not, I have a very awesome streamer lined up that is going to be a total treat, especially if you like flight simulators. Because he is far better at this than I am. Ready and... Uh, ready and oop. Alrighty now, which one is which here? It's seven six, seven seven, seven six, seven five. All right, sweet. Go ahead and set that parking brake. Wipers are off. Go ahead, kill engine number one and two. That's sweet. Go ahead, kill the taxi lights. Uh, cool, taxi lights are off, position lights are off. Uh, fire up the... Fire up the APU bleed, keep those going. Alrighty, so APU is keeping the packs on while they unload the cargo. And sweet, we will leave it in a turnaround state and Airplane, left front, main, aft and forward. We're going to open those up. Ground, uh, waste unit. We are not going to bring the fuel truck up because if we bring the fuel truck up, then that means uh, they could get struck by lightning and we don't want that. So perform maintenance, unload the plane, and that is it for the flight. So with that, let's check to see if if my one of my favorite streamers is going tonight. Uh, stream schedule. It is Friday. She is not going to be streaming today. So with that, uh, let me make sure. Alrighty. G 
in Alrighty, uh, we're going to go check out Jeff's stream. I hope you enjoy his stream. He is far better at explaining than I am. I am just starting to learn. He has been at it for a long time. Uh, him and Captain Cannon are my favorite two streamers for this particular simulator. So I hope you enjoy as much as I do. And with that, I will see you tomorrow. Keeping or keeping on my social media for the or the announcement for a very special Fourth of July stream. I will see you then, and see you next time.